Exercise 7A2, calculate the gross pay and deductions and net pay of two employees. So compute the net pay for each employee using the federal income tax withholding table included. So here's the table here. Notice it says it's for single people biweekly, of which both of these employees are. So I've got the table here. We can scroll up and down. But for, for the purposes of me showing you, I've, I've blown it up over here. So hopefully we can see it better while we work our way through this problem. It says, assume that the FICA OSTI, so that's uh, Social Security, is 6.2% on a wage base limit of 127200 So again, we can only um, tax the first $127,200 per person per calendar year for OSTI. Medicare is 1.45% on all earnings. The payroll is paid bi-weekly and no state income tax applies. Because we're working with currency, we have to round each computation of the near cent as needed. So here we go. I'm going to click here, open up the data table for our two employees. We've got Han Gan and James Pilcher. So we're going to find their biweekly pay. I'm going to copy and paste. This is for Han or Han. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. 1580 for James Pilcher. Okay, and then we need to calculate the deductions. So the mandatory deductions are FIT, OSTI, which is Social Security, and Medicare. So let's do Han first. Han is single, and notice the table over here is for single, and the pay is biweekly, and the table is for biweekly. So we're going to look up 1710 over here. So it looks like his pay is going to be 1710 is on this row down here. So the number of allowances is 2, so we're using this column. So I'm going to scroll down here, 1710. Looks like we're going to use 179. 179. So this is gross, and here's our first deduction. Now let's do James Pilcher, 1580. Now this one's a little bit more tricky. So notice this column says at least, and this column says but less than. So which one do we use? Do we use this 1580 or this 1580? Well, this column says but less than 1580, and this person's pay is 1580. So 1580 is not less than 1580, so we have to go down to this next row. And then we have to go over this to the one allowance column, so that gives us a deduction of 184. Cool, now we're done with that tax table. Now we're going to calculate OSTI. So OSTI, remember, is 6.2%, but we first have to make sure to see if they're getting close to this limit to see if they're going to go over the limit, or maybe they are already over the limit. So let me open up the data table again. So remember the uh, wage base is 127200 So are either of these people, cumulative pay means the pay prior to this pay period. So if we add hands, 57500 plus hands current pay of 1710, Will Han be over the 127200 No. So all of his um, gross pay is taxable for OSTI. And then let's look, look at James. If we take James' previous pay, 61000 plus 1580 which is this pay, he'll, he's still going to be under this 127200 So all of their um, wages are taxable for OSTI. So I need the calculator. So for hand, I'm going to take 1710, 1710 times 6.2%. So we have to move the decimal two places to the right. So that's 0 0.062 equals. That's $106.02 for OSTI. Now let me do the same calculation for James. So I'm going to take James 1580. 
clear 1580 times 0 0.062, cause that's 6.2 percent, is ninety-seven dollars and ninety-six cents. So if you ever have trouble converting this 6.2 percent to a decimal, just enter 6.2 and then divide by 100, and the, the decimal equivalent is 0.062. And oops, since we're going to do Medicare next, Medicare is 1.45. So to convert that percent to a decimal, we can move the decimal two places to the left, or just divide by 100. So we're going to multiply 0 0.0145, which is the Medicare tax rate, times 1710. Times 1710 gives us 24.795. Now this is currency, so we have to round this to the nearest penny. So that rounds to 24.80. And then we're going to do the same thing, 1.45. Divide by 100 to convert it to a decimal, and then multiply that times James gross wages of 1580 times 1580 equals $22.91. So then to figure out the total deductions, we're going to add 179 plus 106.02 plus 24.8. That gives us 309.82. And I'm going to do the same for James. 184 plus 97.96 plus 22.9 gives us 304.87. And then to calculate net, to calculate net pay, I'm going to take 1710 minus 309.82 gives us $1,400.18. For James, we take 1580, subtract the total deductions of 304.87, gives us 1000 comma, 275.13. And that's it.